Viewer, hundreds of journalists have now centered in on Tamil Nadu because the big southern state goes to the polls in nine days from now in a single phase on April the 19th. You're seeing all journalists from all channels and newspapers interviewing all the dramatis personae, all the big newsmakers from Anna Malay to Dayanidhi Maran to all the others on the battlefield of Tamil Nadu. But only one interview becomes a huge talking point and such a big talking point that even Prime Minister Modi refers to it in his rally in Coimbatore today. The point I'm trying to make, viewer, is that amidst this sea of journalism happening during this election season, it's only one channel and one election team that is setting the agenda with its interviews. Dayanidhi Maran, DMK MP and leader, former union minister, has given a plethora of interviews over the last few days to virtually every journalist who has bothered to ask him for an interview. But only one interview makes the news and makes the news in such a way that it has gone viral on social media and the Prime Minister has referred to it by name during his speech in Coimbatore today. And that was Dayanidhi Maran's interview to my colleague here at India Today, Rajdeep Sardesai. Take a look at what Maran said and you won't be surprised why the Prime Minister took it up. DMK Neta ne ahankar mein kaha Kaun hai wo? Anna Malai? Who is that? Who is that? Aur apman janak sabdo ka istamal kiya. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's no holds barred attack on DMK in Tamil Nadu. Seizing on India Today exclusive news break. Modi hit out at DMK over Dayanidhi Maran's joker and lame duck jibes at BJP's Anna Malai calling it arrogance and insult. DMK Satta ke ahankar mein dubi hui party hai. Jab DMK ke ek bade neta ne humare yuwa neta Anna Malai ji ke baare mein poochha gaya to DMK neta ne Ahankar mein kaha, kaun hai wo? Anna Malai, who is that? Aur apman janak sabdo ka istamal kiya. Ye hankar, Tamil Nadu ke mahan culture ke khilaaf hai. It was on Tuesday when India Today spoke to DMK's Central Chennai candidate Dayane Dimaran where he made a cheeky comment against BJP Coimbatore candidate and its Tamil Nadu state unit chief Anamalai calling him a joker. There is one fear, some say of Anamalai, the rising star of the BJP. Will he see the rising star? Who's that? Anamalai, BJP that? president oh, Coimbatore. The joker. You're talking about a joker. Are you under? <laughs> are you, are you, are you underestimating? Are you underestimating? Under, are you under overestimating? He's a lame duck. In a no-holds-barred attack, Prime Minister Modi slammed DMK and Congress for ruining Tamil Nadu via dynasty politics. Tamil Nadu ki har industry pareshan hai. Sathiyo, DMK aur Congress jaisi family partiyo ka ek hi agenda rehta hai. Kisi bhi tarah joot bol kar sarkar mein bane raho. Congress ne itne dasakon tak garibi hatao ka nara diya. Lekin garibi nahi hati. Prime Minister Modi even trained guns on the ruling DMK for anti-Sanatan remarks by Udyanidhi Stalin and A. Raja. Sathiyo, Ayodhya mein Ram Mandir ka bhagbe nirmaan hota hai. Ye log uska bhi virod karte hai. Main Tamil Nadu mein Bhagwan Ram se judhe sthano par aata hu. Inhe usse bhi taklif hoti hai. Ye log to Sanatan dharma ko samapta karne ki 
Prime Minister Modi in a massive attack claimed nexus of the DMK and drug smugglers in the state. DMK ne Tamil Nadu aur desh ke bhavishya hamare chote chote bachchon to ko nahi chhoda hai school tak drugs karobar ka shikar ho gaye hain इन ड्रग्स माफियाओं को किसका संरक्षण हासिल है ही रेन फायर ऑन द कांग्रेस एंड डीएमके फॉर सीडिंग कच्चे टीवू आइलैंड टू श्रीलंका सरकारी दस्तावेजों से ये बात खुली कि कैसे कांग्रेस और डीएमके ने मिलकर तमिलनाडु का एक हिस्सा दूसरे देश को दे दिया भारत की संप्रभुता से हुए इस खिलवाड़ की कीमत हमारे गरीब मछुआरे चुकाते रहे कांग्रेस हावेवर डिफेंडेड सीडिंग द आइलैंड कॉलिंग इट अन इनहेबिटेड तमिलनाडु चीफ मिनिस्टर स्टालिन हिट बैक एट मोदी कॉलिंग हिम अ माइग्रेटरी पोल बर्ड प्रधानमंत्री मोदी आला है इपुरे पटेल पड़ा मुड़ी माँ தேர்தல் சீசனுக்கு மட்டும் பிரதமர் வர தமிழ்நாடு என்ன பறவைகளுடைய சரணாலயமா தமிழர்கள் மேல் மட்டும் அவருக்கு ஏன் இத்தனை வன்மோ தமிழர்கள் இந்த நாட்டோட குடிமக்கள் இல்லையா நாங்கள் என்ன ரெண்டாந்திர குடிமக்களா ஏன் இந்த ஓரவஞ்சன எப்படி உங்களால் ஓட்டி கேட்க வர முடியுது வித் ஃபைவ்ரி போல் ரேலிஸ் அண்ட் மேசிவ் மோதி பிளிட்ஸ் கேன் பிஜேபி பிரீச் தமிழ்நாடு ஃப்ரண்ட் பியூரோ ரிப்போர்ட் India Today. And India Today, it's Rajdeep Sardesai who did that interview. You know, one among several interviews that Dayanadi Maran gave to journalists in Chennai. And it happened to be only that interview that Dayanadi Maran gave to Rajdeep Sardesai that has exploded and become a huge, huge viral talking point. Rajdeep is with me live. He's back from Tamil Nadu. Rajdeep, that Maran interview... uh going viral invoked by the prime minister it's given the prime minister ammo for perhaps his biggest attack of the rally he made in coimbatore today rajdeep look i think i'm not surprised uh, uh, their ship by what uh, the prime minister has said remember in tamil nadu the bjp is playing the role of the underdog playing the role mm. of the victim and when danidhi maran in that interview to me a few days ago described uh annamalai as a joker and was dismissive about him the prime minister seems to have used that to only reinforce the point that the dmk he claims has become arrogant and uh, that the bjp uh, will uh, slowly but surely climb up the the ladder in tamil nadu mm. uh, so uh, so in that sense i guess the prime minister has used that remark of danidhi maran to project the dmk as arrogant and the bjp as the underdog and 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 you know rajdeep as you've seen yourself as you've covered and written about as well the prime minister is a bit of a master at taking you know rude remarks and rude personal remarks of this kind uh, and you know turning them against the person who says them you know we've seen how contemptuous mocking comments have had far reaching effects in the past do you think this one could have some kind of effect to be very honest uh, i don't think that the Uh, that the dmk at the moment is that vulnerable in tamil nadu uh, as uh, some media reports might suggest they still have mm. the most broad based alliance in partnership with congress and uh, the left parties and i do believe that therefore uh, just this one comment is not going to bring down the dmk uh, juggernaut Notice. which has been yeah. built over several years in tamil nadu Uh, but yes i think comments like this will only reinforce the point among those who are critical of the dmk that the party in power uh, can become arrogant and therefore mm. there should be a there should be an attempt to look for change the bjp is in my view appealing for the change vote in uh, uh, tamil nadu the anti dmk vote yes. and that vote will get split between the dmk and the ai dmk uh, between the ai dmk and the bjp Okay uh, one final comment before i let you go rajdeep uh, is uh, you know zooming out from this whole joker 
uh, comment that Maran made about Anamale. The BJP clearly playing the long game, perhaps. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, it may not just be about the 2024 election, but 26, the assembly election, and then 29, the next Lok Sabha election, uh, as far as Tamil Nadu is concerned, I'm talking. What do you make of Modi's non-stop rallies and visits to Tamil Nadu? While you were there shooting your latest episode of, uh, uh, of elections on my plate, the Prime Minister was making his seventh visit. Look, I think this is one of the more fascinating aspects of this election, that the Prime Minister should, should choose Tamil Nadu as the state where he's had the maximum visits in the last two months, uh, ever since the Ram Mandir Pran Pratishtha or since the start of the year. Uh, he, this is his seventh or eighth visit uh, to Tamil Nadu. And it clearly shows that the BJP sees Tamil Nadu uh, as a challenge, uh, as a last frontier. Yes. And an area where they would like to grow, if not now, then in the future. They are playing for the long game. And they are, for in this election, looking to increase vote share, occupy a significant space within the opposition, certainly mm. within mind space. And then hoping sooner or later to use that as a platform to grow in Tamil Nadu. But clearly the Prime Minister has invested a lot of his political capital this time in the state of Tamil Nadu with 39 seats on offer. Rajdeep, appreciate that perspective. Uh, it can only come from years in the ground. And Rajdeep isn't done with Tamil Nadu yet. He'll be back there in just a few days from now. Remember, the first episode of a brand new season of elections on my plate from Tamil Nadu features right here on India Today at 9 p.m. on Friday. This Friday, you can catch that episode. Rajdeep, thanks very much for that. And once again, in case you missed it, here is that viral moment from the Dayanidhi Maran interview to Rajdeep Sardesai that's become such a flutter on social media and the political battleground of Tamil Nadu. Here's it one more time. There is one fear, some say of Anna Malai, the rising star of the BJP. Will he see the rising star? Who's that? Anna Malai, Who's BJP that? president, oh, Coimbatore. The Joker. You're talking about the Joker. Are you, <laughs> are, you, are, you, are, you, are you? Are you underestimating? Are you underestimating? Under, are you Anna overestimating? Malai? He's a lame duck. डीएम के सत्ता के अहंकार में डूबी हुई पार्टी है जब डीएम के ए एक बड़े नेता ने हमारे युवा नेता अन्ना मलाई जी के बारे में पूछा गया तो डीएम के नेता ने अहंकार में कहा कौन है वो Anna Malai, who is that? Who is that? Or Apaman Janak Shabdo Ka Istamal Kia. Yahankar Tamil Nadu Ke Mahan Culture Ke Khilaf Hai. Yahankar Tamil Nadu Ke Logo Ki Kabi Pasan Nahi Aega. एक पूर्व पुलिस अफसर के लिए बैकवर्ड क्लास से आने वाले एक युवा के लिए ग्राउंड पर इतना काम करने वाले युवा के लिए जो शब्द डीएम के ने कहे हैं वही उसका असली कैरेक्टर है ये फैमिली पॉलिटिक्स करने वाले लोग हर युवा को let's bring in india today's shilpa nair uh, live with us from across tamil nadu she's been reporting from every corner of the big battlefields uh, that you know are going to define the first phase tamil nadu is where the spotlight's going to be you know the joker comment uh, shilpa by dayanidhi maran has has uh, caught the fancy of the prime minister the bjp must have been waiting for something like this to latch on to and boy have they done it uh, you know both online and offline what's the sense you're getting you know sometimes comments of this kind which show contempt and mocking uh, you know they can be bigger than they actually are in terms of the context in which they are said you know we've seen it many times in the past with people like mani shankar etc mani shankar ayer etc i'm not comparing the two but clearly the bjp believes that it can go to town on this issue of uh, maran calling anamalai a joker 
Uh, well, yes, uh, Shiv. In fact, uh, India Today is setting the poll agenda at this election yeah. season here in Tamil Nadu. In fact, the Prime Minister raised the issue of uh, the interview that was given to Rajdeep Sardesai uh, 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 by Diana Dimaran, the DMK's Chennai Central candidate, where uh, Diana Dimaran was heard, uh, you know, asking Rajdeep, who is Annamalai? He's a joker, he's a lame duck. These were the words used by the DMK leader. Now, the Prime Minister says this shows nothing but the arrogance of the DMK. It will not be accepted by the people of Tamil Nadu. It will not be liked by the people of Tamil Nadu. It is against the Tamil Nadu culture is what he said. Uh, but joining me right now is uh, DMK's A. Sarvanan to uh, speak about this controversy, the pr Prime Minister's remarks. So the Prime Minister says the remarks made by your leader, Dayanidhi Maran, exposes the DMK's real character. Now, Annamalai is a young who is a young leader who has served as an IPS officer, who is working extensively on ground, and he says he's a leader who's, come, uh, who's coming from the backward community. Uh, and the words that the DMK has chosen for him, used for him, shows the real character of DMK is what the Prime Minister says. Yeah. Uh, the Prime Minister has uh, given some gyan. The question every Tamilian would be asking is this. Why does the Prime Minister not give this gyan to his own leader, Mr. Anamalai, who called Mr. Kamal Hassan to be sent to a mental asylum? Mr. Kamal Hassan is a huge leader. He is a star. Millions of stars worship him. Can he use such derogatory language against a man who is campaigning against you just because he is campaigning against you? Will the Prime Minister reprimand Mr. Anamalai? Will the Prime Minister give advice? He's a young man. Yes, Mr. Anamalai is a young man. Probably the Prime Minister should groom him. The Prime Minister should advise Mr. Anamalai. This is not the first instance. Earlier, a senior editor of a leading Tamil media house was literally castigated by Mr. Anamalai. He used a very, very derogatory term, which I cannot use it here. And he went on to justify that. So Mr. Anamalai should be the one who's given advice. Prime Minister, sir, we can understand, sir, that uh, you are accusing DMK of Agankar. Please, you are, you are a great leader. You have ruled this uh, country for the last 10 years. Please give some advice, sir, to the Prime Minister, to, the, uh, to Mr. Anamalai. So clearly, uh, you know, the DMK, of course, saying that what about Annamalai's remarks uh, claiming that, you know, Kamal Hassan should get his brain examined by a psychiatrist or he should be sent to a mental hospital. So uh, the DMK, of course, says it's not just, uh, you know, the Annamalai should also look at the words that he's been using for some of the revered icons here in Tamil Nadu. So that is the justification or the defense from the side of the DMK as far as this controversy is concerned. Shiv. Thanks very much, uh, Shilpa, for that. Ironically, you know, we have a, an interview of mine with Dayanidhi Maran from 2021 that's also gone viral now where he actually has some very unparliamentary things to say about Kamal Hassan and now is campaigning with him. But that is politics for you. That is 21st century politics for you. There are no permanent enemies and words said in contempt can have far-reaching effects. We'll have to see whether the Joker comment by Dayanidhi Maran has any effect whatsoever. It's a big uphill battle for the BJP in Tamil Nadu, but are they going to even make a mark remains the big question. Now remember, it is not for a lack of trying. The effort that the BJP and especially the Prime Minister is personally putting in to register his presence in Tamil Nadu uh, is, is there for everyone to see. Let's just take you through uh, the seven or eight visits that the Prime Minister has made so far to Tamil Nadu just this year. On January the 2nd, he was in Tiruchurapalli. On January the 19th, uh, he was at the opening ceremony of the Kelo uh, India Youth Games in Chennai. On January the 20th, once again in Tiruchurpalli, he vi visited the Sri Ranganatha Swami Temple. Following day, January 20th, he was in Rameshwaram. He visited the Ramanatha Swami Temple there. This was just before the, uh, the Pran Pratishtha in Ayodhya. Jan 21st, a day before the, the Pran Pratishtha, he was in Danushkodi, that is the land's end, the southernmost tip of the Indian peninsula. Uh, he visited the Kodanda... Ko, Ko, Kodanda Ramaswamy Temple and the Achal Munai. February 27th, that is visit number four, uh, he visited Madurai, where he had addressed, uh, you know, business persons. Then he went to Tutukudi on February the 28th to inaugurate some projects. March the 4th, he was in Kalpakam, most famous for home, or having a, a nuclear facility there. He you know, inaugurated an indigenous nuclear reactor. March the 15th, he visited Kanyakumari, addressed a huge rally there. March the 18th, that is, uh, uh, he went to Coimbatore, uh, uh, held a road show with Annamalai and others. 
March the 19th, he was in Salem to hold a roadshow again with Anna Malai. April the 9th, he was in Chennai to hold a roadshow uh, for two constituencies in the city. And finally, April the 10th in Vellore, he addressed a mega rally. Coimbatore also happened today along with Anna Malai. So eight separate visits to Tamil Nadu just so far this year. Now, Coimbatore, the constituency through which the BJP is trying to make some kind of inroads uh, in Tamil Nadu. It has one of the most interesting battles this time as the Saffron Party has fielded Annamalai, the face of the BJP in Tamil Nadu, the state president, versus the mighty DMK and the AIA DMK. Will Annamalai, who was also known as a singham of the IPS and the police, deliver a blockbuster or could it be another dud? Take a look at this report. The Coimbatore contest is the one to watch out for in Tamil Nadu. If actor politician Kamal Hassan livened up the contest in Coimbatore South Assembly constituency in 2021 before losing by 1700 votes. BJP Tamil Nadu unit president K. Annamalai has done the same with his candidature from Coimbatore in the Lok Sabha election of 2024. His competitors are Singhai Ramachandran of the AIA DMK and Ganapati Rajkumar, former mayor of Coimbatore of the DMK. The BJP has learned its lessons from 2014 and 2019 that it needed an effective communicator on the ground who could dispel the notion that the BJP was non inclusive. It found him in K. Annamalai. An IPS officer who was lauded as Singham in an X Factor in a state that loves its aggressive cop heroes on celluloid. Coimbatore is not virgin territory for the BJP. It won the seat in 1998 and 1999, though that was only on the back of the Coimbatore bombings on 14th February 1998, in which 58 people were killed and over 200 injured. The blasts were part of a conspiracy to target L.K. Advani, who was to conduct an election meeting that day. The BJP, in order to bring back memories of that fateful day, ensured that Prime Minister Narendra Modi, during his visit to Coimbatore last week, paid homage to those who lost their lives. Apart from being a communally sensitive constituency which has helped the BJP cultivate a strong Hindu vote bank, Coimbatore also is home to a large North Indian workforce that is employed in the textile mills. 